Welcome back to another self-compassion exercise. This one's called a fear self-compassion break. Now, a fear self-compassion, your break uses three components of self-compassion. You know, the way we talk to ourselves with kindness and compassion, our sense of our common humanity and mindfulness. It can really be useful in a situation that, we, that needs protecting you know, ourselves. And remember, we're not alone. Our common humanity can empower us. This can give us a sense of power and courage. We may need to stand up for something or protect ourselves. When we open up our hearts to protect ourselves, it's like a mama bear or a papa wolf. We can very, be very brave and fierce. It reduces fear. So what I'd like to begin the exercise is think about a situation in your life where you need a little bit of this fierce mama bear or papa wolf protective energy. Think about a situation, close your eyes, breathe deeply, and think about a situation in your life where you, you feel the need to protect yourself in some way. Maybe you need to draw a boundary. Maybe somebody's asking too much of you or treating you unfairly. Maybe you need the courage to speak up for something or somebody's to try, trying to push their views on you and you just wanna say no. Now take a moment to settle in on the situation. <clears throat> Please don't choose one where you feel you're being actively threatened or traumatized. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you're not gonna be able to learn this practice. So something that's real, but not super humanizing or, or you know, traumatizing or overwhelming. Try not to get lost in the story about what's happening or the people who are causing it. Just focus on the harm being done. What's the thing you want to or need to say or speak up about? Focus on what you need to protect yourself from. Now, drop out of your head and into your body. Is there any anger, fear, or agitation? Feel the feelings of discomfort that are there in your body as you think about the situation. See if you connect with these feelings in their physical form as sensations in the body. Notice your posture. Try to sit up tall and straight. Let your body embody strength that's straight and tall with that strong back. You have the strength. You have the ability to stand up to the situation. And we're going to be saying a series of phrases designed to bring forth that fierce empowerment and clarity as we deal with the situations, the three components of self-compassion. The first thing, be really clear and mindful of what's happening. Say to yourself something like, I see what's going on here and this is not okay. A boundary is being crossed. Whatever it is, give yourself that bit of clarity. Call it out. Look it square in the face. Use mindfulness. Maybe you don't understand exactly what's going on, but you know it's a threat in some way or some harm's being done. You're looking at it square in the face and you're saying to yourself, I'm not gonna turn a blind eye to this. Now remember our common humanity. You are not alone. You're not the only person's experiencing something like this. There's nothing wrong with you. This is part of being human. And try a little gesture. Try putting a fist on your heart. A fist can be a gesture of strength and power. See if you commit to doing what you need to do to be safe, to speak up, to draw a boundary. I'll be brave. I'll protect myself. No. If you have difficulty finding that sense of protection, imagine somebody you really cared about a child or a good friend was having the same situation you're experiencing. What might you just say to them to help them feel strong and they can do it? And try saying something similar to yourself. I'm here for you. I have your back. Finally, I'd like, to take, like you to take your other hand and place it over the fist on your heart. We're going to integrate a little bit of Fierce and tender self-compassion together. We want to be fierce. We want to protect ourselves with compassion, not harm. But we also want our hearts to be open. We don't want to harm anyone in our fierceness. So with your hand over your fist on your heart, say to yourself, I'm here for you. I have your back. 
See if you can let those fierce and tender energies represent that fist over your heart and the hand over, over it and merge it and integrate it into your body. And as you experience that, experience what you're going through right now, absorb it, stay with it a minute and link it. What is going through my mind and my thoughts and my body? And with several deep breaths, we're gonna bring ourselves out of this practice and bring us back to the room and let go. Thanks very much. I hope that was helpful.